Hey YouTube, this is John, uh, the Audiophile Pragmatist. Uh, I just got finished with the um, listening test for the uh, Bose speakers that I previously posted uh, the repair on. If you remember, let's see here, uh, we had this, um, this block inside which got chased by a flashlight uh, to try to find it and both were lodged in the speaker. So uh, got those out, we're good to go. And uh, what I'd like to do is just, uh, you know, we talked about Bose being a four letter word for audio files. And uh, so here's my general impressions. I don't mean to corrupt you, but you can't hear much through um, the cell phone speaker and whatnot. I don't have the right setup yet. Um, but uh, so my general impressions is, yeah, they don't have um, a lot of sheen on the treble. Um, the treble has a soft sibilance to it, um, which may be exaggerated. Um, and, but the bass is good. They're not, it's not that fast, but it's good. It's warm. Um, the speakers overall are generally nice sounding speakers. They would be nice for somebody to listen to folk or in country and things like that. And, um, not real critical listening, but they are nice and you can listen to them loud and for a long time and they won't bother you. Um, like some speakers will in another four letter word named Polk, uh, which will bother you after a while. At least the new ones do, uh, not the old ones. Uh, with that, let's get to it. So let me switch this around here. Um, if you remember, that's them. Not the tall ones, the little ones. The other ones are Martin Logan's that I repaired as well. Let's go here. By the way, this is John Hyatt, uh, Master of Disaster that we're listening to. And that is on a Yamaha receiver. Um, this is a receiver you can buy from eBay for around 200 bucks nowadays. And it's quite the value uh, because it is has, it actually sounds excellent if you hit this button, Pure Direct. Uh, so if some, you want to get into budget audio file, that's the way to do it. You can disregard this entire thing except for the volume knob, the connections in the back, and this one button, and you have yourself a good, um, there's a good DAC in there. There's a, um, of course, a good amplifier, and uh, you can use whatever functions you want out of that. But one of my, what I'm getting at here is that if you just want to use it as two-channel audio, push that pure direct button, and you've got something special there, and you can have it for cheap. Uh, and also we're listening to the Denon, um, this is a Super Audio CD by John Hyatt. Uh, so we're listening to Super Audio CD through the, this uh, Denon DVD 2900 uh, multi-disc player. And here we go. <laughs> So, point is, uh, you know, maybe not the audiophile speaker you're looking for, but man, they sure are enjoyable to listen to, and they're really easy. Uh, easy on the eyes, and easy on the ears, and easy on the wallet. So, yep, Bose 701s, not bad.
All right, out here.